Hi, welcome to the Atlas Search scene, a video series designed to bring you up to speed with Atlas Search. This is episode one of an eight part series. These are going to be short and sweet videos designed to give you what you need to get started using and effectively leveraging the power of Atlas Search on your own data. I'm Eric Hatcher, your host for the Atlas Search scene. I'm a staff developer advocate here at MongoDB specializing in Atlas Search. In my role to educate and empower developers in Atlas Search, I dreamed up this series to have my own humble home to present and demonstrate the powerful capabilities of Atlas Search. In this first episode, we'll start with an introduction to Atlas and Atlas Search, and then I'll talk and walk you through setting up and using your first Atlas Search index. I'd sure appreciate your feedback on the episode and the series. If you're enjoying this and would like to see more content on Atlas Search, clicking like will help us gauge interest and to get notified for the next episodes in this series. And to get notified for next episodes in this series, click subscribe below. Let's get started. What is Atlas? Atlas is a developer data platform which provides a tightly integrated collection of data and application infrastructure building blocks, allowing development teams to quickly deploy bespoke architectures to address any application need. It supports transactional, search, and analytical use cases across mobile, distributed, event-driven, and serverless architectures, all while reducing data infrastructure sprawl and complexity. The Atlas environment contains many pieces of infrastructure that you'll need to build production applications, including backups, replication, sharding, charting, data lakes, data federation, um, and of course, Atlas Search. Atlas is built upon the MongoDB database, which is based upon the document data model. Document data model typically stores information about one object and any of its related metadata. Documents store data in field value pairs. The values can be a variety of types and structures, including strings, numbers, dates, arrays, or objects. What is Atlas Search and how does it fit into the developer data platform? Atlas Search is a Lucene-based service that sits alongside of your MongoDB database in the Atlas Cloud, providing full text search and relevancy querying capabilities across your collections. The, this diagram here shows how the flow of events occur. So when you first set up Atlas Search, a change stream listens to your data, syncs the entire collection, and indexes it into a Lucene index. And then a steady state exists where any changes are monitored and mirrored and indexed into that same index. And there is a dollar search aggregation query that goes through the, the aggregation pipeline and then makes calls to the Atlas search service. At the heart of this whole thing is this nice little library called Lucene. This Lucene library, we're gonna talk about more in future episodes and uh, gets you um, understanding the concepts that are, are there. Atlas Search provides a powerful dollar search aggregation stage that allows you to match documents based off of um, exact to extremely fuzzy types of queries, providing relevancy ranked results with the best results appearing at the top. So you get these powerful selectors that you can query and match documents, but you also get relevancy. So the best needles in those haystacks come to the top. All right, let's jump right into the super quick start here and get you going with Atlas Search. So Atlas Search. So now we are at our cluster and uh, using our cluster, what we're going to do is we're going to add the sample documents. So over here on the overview of your cluster, on these, this extra menu here, there's a menu item called Load Sample Data Set. I've already done this, so you want to load the sample data sets. And then in your collections, you'll see these sample data sets here. We're going to work with the Movies collection. So what you do, once you've got the sample data in there, you go to the Search tab here, and you can see here that there's no index is already here, but it's giving us a, a quick start. We're just going to take the easy path and choose the visual editor. Go next. Now here we'll leave the name default. This is the name of the index that you'll reference in your dollar search stage. We're going to map the movies collection. 
And we're just going to go through here. And there are other options here. We're going to go through that in other episodes here. But for now, let's just go ahead and create our search index. Now our handy dandy robot here is in the background spinning up a cluster of three search nodes, allowing um, your data to be indexed and replicated. And now our data is being indexed. We'll eventually get an email a few minutes later that shows that our index has been completed. Once this index, once you get this email, now you can start performing searches against that collection. So I'm going to hop over to my collection. Let me just get back here. So we're going to, we've enabled search and now we're going to go to the search tester. I've already got this built in, in my own cluster. So let's go ahead and go to cluster zero here and go to search. And I've got this index built. This is what you'll see when your index gets built. And we can just go to this query right here. And we can search for things like Keanu. And we can find movies that Keanu is in. So he's going to be right here as a cast member in this. And what we do here is we can see that we've done a query. And we can click this handy edit search query over here in this search tester. And we can click this copy button here. So once you copy that, you can come back over to, and there's a link here to the aggregation pipeline. So within the Atlas UI, you can uh, perform an aggregation pipeline. So we're going to create new, we're going to come over here to text and we're going to paste in that query and we can see that we get results here. And my screen is too zoomed here to actually show you the results in this view. So what we're going to do is take that same query and pop it over into Compass. Compass is our tool to allow you to navigate your MongoDB instances, Atlas or otherwise, but in this case, of course, Atlas. And so it's effectively the same sort of UI that you get in the Atlas web UI, uh, but you get your handy desktop application here. So good for exporting or copying, pasting, and, and playing around with aggregation pipelines. So we're going to come over here. We're going to create a new aggregation pipeline. Use this handy text button over here and select all of this and paste in that query that we just did. And you can see we get our results. Now let's do some adjustments here because we don't want to search all the fields. We just want to search the cast field. And you can see now we changed our results here. We can actually search other fields if we like. We can search the cast and plot. And we'll just toss the title in there for good measure. So we can search many fields at the same time. All right, so you've done the quick start. You've got your Atlas search index going. Um, and before you get to the next episodes, before these come out, um, here's some resources to get you uh, further along and prepared for the next episodes as we uh, continue our Atlas search journey. So uh, I've been blessed to work with a number of really sharp colleagues who have uh, done some previous work with Atlas search and created some really nice videos. So there is actually a YouTube playlist for Atlas search in the links below. I want to point out a few videos here. Jesse has done some videos on Atlas Search to easily to set up autocomplete uh, called Atlas Search, MongoDB Atlas Search to easily find your data. So Jesse's video, um, and he's got another one on uh, how to get your free MongoDB Atlas cluster. Another colleague, Nick, has done geospatial work with Atlas Search. So there's a link to searching on your location with Atlas Search and geospatial operators. Nick and Karen have done an elaborate workshop, an hour and a half video on the online Atlas Search workshop, building a Netflix clone. These are all great resources uh, in terms of the video content. And of course, we have our developer center at mongodb.com and the Atlas Search documentation.